GM Soldiers. In today's trading lesson, I'm going to talk about the expectations in trading and why expectations matter a lot in the trading game. By expectations, I mean what we as traders expect from the trading game. So, as you can see in YouTube and on Twitter or many other social media accounts, usually trading influencers or trading is viewed like a just clicking buttons, clicking buttons and making easy money, okay? But for example, myself, I have a quote that is called, trading is the hardest way of making, of making easy money. Trading is the hardest way of making easy money. Think about it. So this is opposed to the conception or the concept that all the people has about trading, that trading is just clicking buttons and making easy money without any effort. And in reality, this is the expectation that the people has, the reflection that they think that trading in reality is. But when they try to trade or they try to begin trading, they realize that it's not that easy, that you need to master a trading system and you need to test it and you need to back test it, forward test it, and also gain their experience from the market with skin in the game they also realize that they need to have a lot of emotional mastery because to become a trader or to be a trader you need to be a master at your emotions know yourself know your biggest flaws if you are impatient if you are maybe i don't know if you are impulsive there are many psychological traits that as a trader can affect you and can help you so you need to know yourself from a psychological standpoint and instro introspect into yourself and this is a hard work to do because in this society, people l lies on the surface. They don't want to get introspect. They don't want to view inside themselves because we, we are constantly distracted, okay? So being a trader is not obviously having a system or loading some indicator into your trading view chart and making quick money, easy money, like, like nothing. No, people think that is this way. But you require a lot of a, a lot of skill sets, a lot of skills that a normal and average people doesn't have. So this is when the deception comes. This is why I, I told in the beginning of the video that expectation, expectations play a huge role from for you as a trader. Because myself, I have many friends that trade. Also, I knew many people on social media because they contact me asking for advice. Hey, soldier, how you would do that? Hey, soldier, what do you think about this system? Hey, soldier, how do you react when this happens? And I've seen that many people have a dissonance between their expectations about trading and the reality that they find when they actually begin trading. And they, when they see this difference, the dissonance between the, the expectation, the concept that they had in the beginning about trading, and then they see the reality, the hard work that trading, because trading is work, trading is like a job. In the end, when you are at, at my level that you've been trading from six years now, you see it as a job. It is, sometimes it's also boring because you need to do the same things, play the same rules, play the same system over and over again, and this is the way to, to be profitable. You need to do the things that work over and over again in order to be profitable and avoid losses. And people think that trading is just, wow, looking at screens and making easy money and all like loading one indicator that makes you, gives you buy and sell signals and everything is easy and easy peasy. No, it's not this way. It's hard. You need to master yourself. You need to master the trading game. You need to master price action, a lot of concepts, psychology, market psychology. You need to understand the whole picture of the markets. So it's not easy. And what I've seen, as I said before, is when you arrive to this dissonance state that the concept that you thought in the beginning, and you begin that trading was, and you begin losing money, you begin gathering losses, okay? You begin having setbacks. Then people, gives up they give up and then they don't try anymore to keep tra trading because they get deceived they get deceived 
by the concept that they thought in the beginning trading was and the reality of trading. The harsh reality of trading and the harsh reality of the markets because the markets do not care about your emotions. The markets do not care about what do you think about if the market is bullish or bearish. Markets just move. Price is reckless. The price just moves and it doesn't care if you are long, if you are short, if you put the rent of your more or your mortgage payment in the in a long trade they don't care markets don't tr don't don't care okay and this is what people doesn't get they they think that trading is easy and making money is easy no when you see the reality you realize that the trading game is hard and then you give up so that is why i said that you need to have the correct expectations from trading game in the beginning the worst thing that can happen to you is to make money without knowledge it happened to me in the beginning in the beginning i made money without having the knowledge to make money and that was the the biggest blessing but also the biggest curse because then i was doing the wrong things and and, and i was having a result a positive result i was having money but then things change and you need to adapt and this is when the true traders and the true people that want to invest and put the time and the effort and the work to develop as a trader and develop all the skills necessary to be a good trader this is when the true colors your true colors will glow up because many people will give up we they will not try again because they will get burn or sting by the by the market because the market is as i said is reckless and then they leave the trading game but your consistency and your profits being a profitable consistent profitable trader is on the other side of the setback on the other side of the failed expectations that you had in the beginning about trading so if you overcome this breaking point of your failed expectations and of your fails your losses and you overcome this breaking point and you stick to it you will become a better trader and you will achieve profitability consistently but people in the first bump on the road that they encounter they give up they give up and they are affected by the how it's called the glow object syndrome the new the new thing syndrome they they think okay maybe trading doesn't work for me and they do three trades four trades five trades and they think oh i lose one thousand dollars i lose ten thousand uh, dollars trading is not for me i will try now marketing affiliate marketing oh okay affiliate marketing it doesn't give me enough margins so now i will try drop shipping oh okay uh, drop shipping is too hard i don't find suppliers to my product or the products are, are burned are burnt so now i will find i will try to i don't know youtube or maybe i will try i don't know instagram so people get deceived and they are chasing the new best thing that they think and they never get an inch wide a mile deep okay you need to focus in one field and become an expert dedicate a lot of time a lot of hours a lot of effort and for this you need to be passionate myself i had a lot of setbacks in trading and also in life and i never give up i always come back stronger because i thought okay if i fail here this failure point is giving me feedback what did i do wrong to arrive to this failing point then analyze your failure and then write it and then try to prevent this failure and this way you will begin gaining experience and gaining knowledge and improving your systems to become a better trader but this is you need to understand the expectations that you have on trading if you as in, see youtube videos or instagram videos or instagram reels or tiktok reels and you see people saying oh how to make money how to make one thousand dollars a day day trading this is not the real thing you cannot make a fixed amount of money from trading because markets are unpredictable your system had a, 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 a clear set of rules and you cannot predict how much how much money are you going to make 
on one day or one week or one month of trading is unpredictable. The people that is telling you this in YouTube are straight up liars, are telling you bullshit because they cannot tell you how much money you will make on a day or a month or a week. This is just to sell you something. This is just to make you believe that trading is something that it, in reality this is not. And then when you see the reality in trading, you have the wrong expectations, then you became deceived. You see this cognitive dissonance between what you expect it to be and what it really is, and what you want it to be and what it really is and the effort required, and then you give up. And then you maybe will be the best trader ever, maybe you will be profitable in the long run, but you gave up and you will never know because of the wrong expectations that the society, that YouTube, that the algorithms, that social media give you about trading. And I can tell you for a fact that trading is no easy work. As I said before, it's the hardest way of, make, of making easy money. Okay, stick with this with this quote because this quote is very important. It's hard. You need to put a lot of years, a lot of knowledge, a lot of investment, emotional investment, intelligence investment, time investment, also money investment. Because if you need to fail, it's better to fail cheap. But you need to fail in order to become a better trader because it is your failures that give you the best feedback to improve as a trader. And the, the biggest failures, the ones that sting, the, the trades that you lose 20K, 30K, 50K, because you have poor risk management, you impulse trade, you over trade, those trades are the ones that count. Because the small losses, okay, they can be, give you some feedback, but the bigger losses that you know that you make a mistake and they sting because your account gets drained, this are the losses that tells you the feedback but you need to have the right expectation the expectation is okay i know that if i'm willing to dedicate the time as a trader and to the trading game i know that i will have to suffer mentally and financially okay because i will have setbacks i will have losses i don't believe that any traders that there are traders out there that never lose this is impossible you have a win rate you have a system you have a um, let's say probabilities but you always will be wrong you never can be right this is impossible even algorithms even high frequency trading algorithms are never 100% right they cannot predict the markets even if they try to so have the correct expectations have the right expectations you know that if you are going into the trading game you are going to lose money you are going to need to develop yourself as a person psychologically and from a let's say emotional control and then you also need to know that you need to require a lot of time in front of the charts understanding how market psychology works understanding how markets work backtesting the systems trying different kinds of systems and backtesting these kinds of systems and see if they are profitable if they have positive uh, positive expectancy or negative expectancy, ditching the ones that do not work or adding rules or removing rules on top of these systems, changing some parameters, trying new indicators, trying new things, trying new data. So you, are, you need to be willing to put in the time and the effort and the money and the emotional involvement required to become a better trader, to develop yourself as a trader. And this will not be achieved in one week, in one month, in one year. This is a long journey, a lifelong journey. And this is why I said that this is the topic of the video, having the right expectations from the market, from the trading game. I cannot be a real trader if I'm expecting to make $1,000 a day, because no one can assure you to make $1,000 a day. No one. There is no algorithm or indicator or trading system that will make you $1,000 a day, as you will see on many YouTube videos or many Instagram reels that people tell you, ah, oh, you are going to make this kind of money, you are going to make this, you are going to make that. No, this is a lie, straight up lie. They are lying to you, buy my course, watch my video, subscribe to my channel. No. The reality on trading is not that.
you need to put, as I said before, your work, your time, your hours, your money on the line, be willing to lose, be willing to suffer, be willing to invest, be willing to invest, to, to put effort and to lose, and to try again, and to try again, and to fall down and to try again, to fall down and to try again. And if you have this right expectation and you treat trading as another job in your career, if you are like a marketing agent or a real estate agent, or maybe you work at a, a factory, you're a teacher, you need that you need to put hours on sales, on gathering clients, or searching new clients, new people, okay? So you need to have the right expectations. This way, when you see the reality of the market, the reality of the trading game, you will not get deceived. You will get deceived anyway, but you will get less de deceived. And this way you will be able to overcome psychologically your setbacks and this breaking point of dissonance between the reality and the expectancy that you had in the beginning and to stick to the trading game and develop yourself as a trader and as a person and be profitable consistently over time. So today was a long trading lesson, but as I said before, I, mi I did a mixture of different concepts because in trading many times different areas are influenced one to the other so you have one area for example psychology and this psychology area influence the trading systems area or uh, the expectancy or the expectations that you have from the trading influence your performance as a trader so it's impossible to cover one trading topic without mentioning another trading topics that's why i Monkey, monkey branch between different topics to explain you one concept because I need to make reference it's holistically it's integral you need to mention different things because trading is not being good at one thing it's like martial arts as I said before in many videos I have a big martial arts bar background and a good martial artist a good fighter is not the guy who, who kicks the hardest is the guy who kicks the hardest, the quickest, with the most intention, with the most equilibrium, with the most precision, okay? Timing right, the right timing, everything. There is a lot of factors involved to be, to execute one good kick, okay? Or one good punch. The, in trading is the same. To be a good trader and to be profitable, you need to get a whole lot of things involved into the trading game. And the thing that most people don't get is a lot of these things that you need to get involved into the trading game are things that you can develop as a person and that will influence another areas of your life as i said fighting relationships friendships work environment other types of projects so one area influence another areas and it's impossible to stick to just one area and leave the other you need to become holistically complete, integral, good as a trader and as a person. Well, the, the good term in English is well-rounded. You need to become well-rounded in all the areas. And this way, you will be a profitable trader, a consistent trader. And these exact concepts that you will be gathering from the trading game, you will extrapolate it and you will apply them into your relationships, into your friendships, into the fighting if you are a fighter, into the football if you are a football player, I don't know, whatever you are in your life, you will know better than me, but you can apply these concepts and these lessons from the trading game and apply them in other areas of your life and you will be better in all the other areas that you apply. So that's it for today's trading lesson. I, as I said before, I know that it's long, but I need to express myself and I don't like to cut the video, I don't like to filter what I say. I like just to, while I'm doing things, talk to you, express my knowledge, and even if the video is long, I prefer that the audience that sticks watching my videos are people that watches and value, values the long content over the short content, doesn't have a TikTok brain and doesn't want to skip to the next thing. I want people that is consistent and disciplined to follow my videos. And if you are a follower of mine, I want you to be disciplined and consistent. I don't want quick and easy money or quick and easy TikTok brain people here in this channel. I want just soldiers, trading soldiers. 
So as I always said, follow me on Twitter or X, as we call it right now, to see daily market analysis, daily trading ideas, daily trading news that I publish there. Also, you can find me on Instagram, and also you can find me on Rumble and on TikTok. But I upload, let's say, quick reels about news that you can find the same stuff in my Twitter. So stick with Twitter and stick with YouTube. Give a like to this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are a trading soldier, not if you are a lazy, quick, easy money guy. I prefer you to not see my videos again. You will not arrive to the end of this video, so you will not watch this part anyway, so I don't care. So thank you for your time, and we see you in the next video.